<clears throat> this is the Breville Barista Pro. <laughs> That is what we got. Um, we have PropTech Pro 500 at home, which is a very like mid-level, not quite a pro machine, but like kind of a pro home type of machine at the bottom end of that. And this is kind of in the consumer, upper end of like consumer range, I would say. It has a built-in grinder, so you don't have to buy a grinder for $800 and a machine for 1000 or whatever it is. And it was extremely on sale because of a thing called Bay Days at Hudson Bay, so. Um, <laughs> We, if you're Canadian, you'll laugh at that. <laughs> yeah, we, we were spending, uh, you know, quite a lot of money at coffee shops every day, which is great. We'll still have to go to coffee shops, but... Now we still... can have, like, three cappuccinos at home or day. Mm -hmm. All right, let's make our first cup. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it for the first go. That is pretty well done milk. By the way, we, we bought this ourselves. This is not like a sponsored post. <laughs> no, honestly, the biggest reason we want to do this, we haven't gotten to it yet, but we finally got new coffee mugs. So this one's like more of a standard coffee mug size versus mm -hmm. the last ones that were smaller. Yep. And the color logo, so. Yeah. We didn't make a ton, so if you want one, go get one. And we also improved our packaging, so if you are worried about it breaking, it will not break. Yeah, good for tea, coffee, Americanos, whatever you want. 11 and a half ounces, freaking awesome. Feels great in the hand. Very important with Americano, always put the hot water in and then pour the espresso into the Americano. Versus the cappuccino, espresso, milk goes in. Good tip. Good tip. So are we gonna tell the whole story how we got this then? What's up guys, welcome to Thursday. Okay, I have to I have to return this call. Sorry. In a minute. 
Hi Bailey, this is Paula. So here's what's happening. <clears throat> things have finally come together. Um, we are headed into Calgary for a couple of different things. Primarily, we're going to pick up a used lens because lenses are sometimes more expensive than the camera themselves. For the new camera, which is supposed to arrive tomorrow, we're gonna have the van get a little checkup on the work that it had done a while ago. And we're gonna get an espresso machine, maybe. I feel like forking out another thousand dollars. And we're gonna maybe go to Costco if we have extra time. Yeah. And we're gonna maybe go and do our podcast at three if we have time. So many things. This is the real Kijiji experience. Yeah, we're doing it. Similar to Craigslist on... <laughs> Not building four, but building nine. We're going to building nine in this questionable complex with money in our hands to pick up a camera lens. Unfortunately, I did just get an update on the camera itself. It will not be arriving until Monday, which is a super bummer, but next week's video is gonna be awesome. I'm not a fan of this. I'd honestly rather just buy a new lens and not go through this process. This is scary. Oh my god. <laughs> Great success. We think it is. We yeah, think it is. Uh, unfortunately, since I don't have the camera, I can't turn it on. But the guy's got the original, it's like original box, original sticker on the box, matching receipt. Thing looks literally brand new. I'm pretty psyched. $500 off of retail, so. Next challenge. Can we get ourselves a new espresso machine? Straight. And maybe go to Costco in an hour before we have to drop off the thing. So if we can do this in 10 minutes, the drive to Costco takes 12, shop in Costco is 20 to 30, and that drive 10 minutes back. Stay tuned for our non-sponsored post about the Breville coffee maker and how good or bad it is. Yeah, Breville, if you're watching this, though, feel free to reimburse us. Wouldn't mind. The Breville is kind of a middle ground between like Super Premio and, and there, Aeropress. And there is the potential that if we get a little bit of an inverter in the van someday, we could have this in the van. So that's in the background. Yeah, Two oh three, most hectic Costco trip of our lives. I have all the things. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Nice job, team. Nice job, Flynn. Well, this should be pretty cut and dry. Theoretically, they're just gonna check, make sure all the work they did is still good. No hoses are leaking or something like that, and um, we'll be on our way to the podcast. Uh, Flynn and I are in search for a green patch while Paula is doing a phone call.
a podcast with Belinda for the Challenge Family podcast about Daytona. Uh, and since we're in Calgary, our friend Jordan hooked us up with this bike shop that's going to give us like a quiet room with Wi-Fi so that we can be online with Belinda in Australia and have it work. So crazy day. We just did like the lens pickup, the coffee machine purchase, 20 minute Costco stop, went to the car dealership to get a fix, had a phone call with one of the kids I coach. Flynn. Eric walked Flynn, drove all the way over here, and now we're doing the podcast, and then we have to drive back to Kenmore. What a productive day. Crushing it. Hello? Hello? How's it? It's good. It wasn't quite hot enough, and I want it to be a little hotter. All right, I'll tell the barista. I'll tell him to get on that. How are we looking? So we got restocked of most items, most popular items. We have the essential camper, the trail hat, the hybrid trucker, team crew neck. Basically, we reordered all the popular things, and now it's scary because we have inventory. I don't know. It's just a little scarier than the first rounds when we like sold out instantly and it like paid for itself. So. Yeah, so like if, if you've been following along since we started doing this, basically we've been putting things up on a Sunday with our video and then like within two hours they're gone. And what we did this time is if you missed out on a thing and went on our website and said vote to make more, we basically picked the most popular ones of those and made a corresponding amount of things. So um, if you click that button, yeah. go claim it. But for real, the mugs are super nice. So you should get one for like all your friends for Christmas. Ha <laughs> ha.